Volunteers are truly everything for me. Um, it starts basically with the horse leader. I need someone that can really read a horse, be able to change its pace, follow instructions on doing sudden starts and stops, move the horse along, go slowly, depending on what we're working on within the session. Um, so having a, a strong horse leader that also can read the horse and say, wait, I think their ears are up. I think they might be spooked by something. Um, because the person that's on the horse is sitting there with no saddle and no reins and no stirrups. If it isn't for the volunteers and something happens, they have no chance of staying on. So it is essential that the horse leader has great control of the horse. They are the ones that help keep the person on, but also are there to offer support when they don't need to be held on, but need to be there in case something happens. A horse's trip, grounds are uneven, things spook. It can be an unpredictable environment. So to have close sidewalkers that are paying attention, anticipating, reading, reading whether the child is moving a little bit or tipping to one side um, is just, they're like my second and third set of eyes and ears for me and are just essential in providing a good, safe and effective treatment session. It just helps my soul. I don't know a better way to put it. It, like when I leave here, I feel whole again, like this part of helping people or working with animals I don't usually get to work with kind of fills a gap that I don't have in my everyday life and it's an escape from the city hustle and bustle that I can slow down and really focus on one thing at a time, which is really nice. Uh, about five years ago when I was a new volunteer, I had the privilege of helping um, a girl um, with a sidewalking session. She didn't have much physical strength or mobility and so on. Of course, it was a big victory for her to raise her head. And she would cry because it was physically tiring. But after a while, she would calm and she would keep on working. And um, that's the first time I could have started crying <laughs> as a volunteer because it's touching. What is so easy for us is really difficult for them. And she just kept on working hard, so that meant a lot to me. So we had a client um, that we literally had to pick her up and put her on the horse, and she would just slump over. And so we would put a pillow under her to try and hold her up. After about four sessions, we took the pillow away. We still had to hold her, but she could at least hold her head up and be a lot more communicative with us. And after about, again, six months, we didn't have to hold her back. We just had to do an arm over thigh. And again, just watching that progress of the individual clients, and everyone is so different, but they all, they all enjoy the program. They get so much out of the program. And it's just such a joy for me to see the improvement in their lives.